Hi lovelies, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have picked out a bunch of jean or denim shorts from Amazon's best seller list, and I'm gonna try them on, see how the quality is, see how the fit is. But before we get into it, if you're new to my channel, I just wanted to say hi, I'm Kathy. I'm really glad that you are here. I hope you will subscribe and stick around. And if you enjoy this kind of video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below as well. Also, before I get any further, I just want to bring attention and recognition to the fact that they're doing construction literally right outside of my window so I'm very sorry for all the construction noises that you may or may not hear during this video but let's get into the shorts so basically Amazon has these best sellers lists that you can keep as general as you want you could find like the top 100 best selling women's clothes at any given time or you can narrow it down like I did and so I went and looked for the top 100 best selling denim or jean shorts that Amazon sells so I pulled that list and I picked some out I have found these lists to be really helpful if I'm just like looking for something new wanting to see what are people trying and these lists are constantly being updated depending on what people are purchasing and so there's always new things in there so from the jean shorts list I picked out six pairs of jean shorts to try today and I will link all of them down below in the description if you want to check any of them out and in picking the shorts for this video I tried to pick ones that are different than things that I already have that have some like unique or interesting aspect to them to try to bring something different to my closet. So the first ones I picked out are the Potilli women's jean shorts, high-waisted denim shorts, ripped, frayed, casual, stretchy shorts for summer in a size 8 in the color blue and these were $25.99. So these ones, the kind of interesting aspect that I noticed was this like double waist on them. It has two buttons and it has like a seam, a seam, a seam. And I thought that was interesting. Definitely not something that I have already. They're in this kind of lighter wash. They have distressing on them and they are cuffed at the bottom and the cuff is sewn, which is nice. The buttons at the top are definitely kind of chunky. And these are interesting because like the top up here is darker and like inside of the pockets is darker and the back pockets are the same it's kind of interesting here is the back of them they're pretty simple i've got some more distressing on them this tag on here says msrp 98 dollars but that's how much they normally are then i definitely got a bargain so in general i definitely like the look of these but let's go try them on and see how they fit i did have to do some guessing on the sizing for a lot of these so i'm very curious how they will be we will see so let's go try them on these feel really nice on i'm actually very pleasantly surprised they are pretty high waisted they go like right up to my belly button which is really nice the fabric is really stretchy which is great here is the back i really appreciate the length of them they're not too long they're not too short the distressing on there is nice as well the pockets are super deep like wow that is a win right there. I also really like how the double waist, double button thing looks. I just think it makes it unique. It's a unique aspect to these jean shorts and it gives them just that aspect of interest. And yeah, I think it's really great. So I can't find anything wrong with these. We're on, we're off to a good start. The next jean shorts that I grabbed are the Lookbook Store Women High Waisted Denim Shorts Ripped Buttonfly Cuffed Jean Shorts in a size medium in the color After Dusk Blue and these were $29.99. So here they are. These I got because of the Buttonfly. Again, not something that I already have in my closet. These have a cuffed hem, a lot of distressing on them and they're this darker denim. They feel pretty good. The back is pretty simple, not a whole lot going on, some very, very slight distressing on the pockets. But overall, these look pretty good. Not, not too interesting, but that doesn't mean they're not bad. So let's try them on and see how they fit, see how they feel, all the things. I am again very pleasantly surprised by how these fit. These seem like the right size. They're pretty stretchy, which is nice. They come just right under my belly button, so not quite as high as the previous pair. The button fly, mm, I don't know. I, it just seems a little annoying to me, but 
I do like how it looks, I just don't like the functionality of actually putting it on when it has a button fly. But I like the wash of these and I like the distressing. Here they are from the back. I would say these are like a step below the previous ones in terms of just the quality and general feel of them, but they're definitely not a bad pair. I would say these are, these are pretty good. The next shorts that I picked out are the Kiss Moto Women's Denim Shorts Folded Hem Casual Summer Short Roll Jeans Stretchy Mid-Waisted Junior Pants. My goodness. In a size medium in the color A gradient blue and these were $24.99. These online were very intriguing to me. This idea of like the gradient and this kind of crisscross pattern on the hem I thought or the cuff I thought was interesting. These have a very shiny reflective button. It's like the first thing that I noticed. But I don't know, let me know down in the comments what you think about these. Do they look cool? Do they look not cool? I'm not sure. So let's try them on and see how they fit. These ones, I'm still trying to figure out what I think about them. I don't know, I think I'm not as into the ombre as I thought I would be. In general, they do fit pretty well though. I think these are my correct size. The waist is nice, a little bit of stretch in there, a little bit of room, which is nice. They come right under my belly button, which is great. Here is the back of them. And I do like the sort of crisscross sewn on the hems here. I just am really not sure about the ombre. So again, let me know down in the comments what you think about these. Are they cool? Are they in style? Are they not? I don't know, can't decide, which probably means that they're not, but I mean, I don't know, how would I know? Also, the pockets are pretty deep on these as well, which is always wonderful. So I would say the fit of these is pretty good. I'm just not sure about the actual style of them. The next jean shorts I grabbed are these Rose Linlin women's denim shorts, drawstring, drawstring shorts, casual jean summer shorts, and a size medium in the color two light blue, and these were $25.99. These I thought were really interesting because of this like buckle closure hole thing on the bottom. I thought that was very different than anything I had already seen. Other than that, they're a pretty basic pair of shorts. There's nothing like too interesting about them. I like the wash. But yeah, I'm mostly just intrigued by this whole situation on them. The back is pretty, pretty un, unexciting. So let's go try these on. The first thing I noticed when I put these on is that the zipper is on the wrong side. Like usually for girls, you do up the zipper with your right hand and this one, it's the opposite, which is interesting. The quality of these again, feels kind of like a notch, a little bit lower. The jean fabric is a little bit Thin. It's a little more stiff, I would say. This thing is very interesting. The first thing that I thought when I put it on was like when you have a shorts tan where you're more pale, you know, up higher, and then your legs are tan. And if that's the case, which is usually the case for me in summer, then this part of my leg would kind of be a different color than this part of my leg, which would be interesting. But I do like that added detail because otherwise these shorts are pretty boring without this. Here is the back. These definitely are a looser fit in the legs as well. The other three were pretty tight in the legs or at least they were next to my thigh. These ones, I definitely have a lot of space right off the bat. And the pockets are decently big, which is great. So these I'm kind of on the fence about. I think that they look interesting. I just don't think they fit and feel quite how I was hoping that they would. And I will just be confused every time I put them on because the zipper's on the wrong side. <laughs> the next jean shorts I picked out are the Hybrid & Company women's denim shorts in a size nine in the color blue black. And these were only 1232, which that is one of the main reasons that I got these ones. They're not really that interesting of a pair of shorts, but I mostly was going for the price aspect on this. The rest of these, I didn't really think about the price, but I was curious what kind of quality, what kind of jeans can you get for just $12 on Amazon? And apparently this is it. The first thing I noticed about these pulling them out is that every place it's sewn, it has white thread and yellow thread, which is kind of interesting. And especially it's noticeable because this is such a dark fabric, this color. In general, these feel like decent quality. I like the button of them as well. It kind of has a flower on it. So let's go try these on and see how they are. I'm very glad that I ordered these in size nine. I was kind of trying to decide between the nine and the seven and I ended up ordering the nine based on reviews. And I'm very glad that I did because I think the seven definitely would have been too small. These still feel a little bit tight. They're also a lot shorter than any of the other ones 
ones that I tried so far, which I am not loving. The rise on these is somewhat of a mid to low rise, I would say. So these are kind of not checking all the boxes. <laughs> in general. I think for them being a pair of $12 shorts, they're not bad. If this is what you're looking for, you just have to know what you're getting for your $12. So here they are from the back as well. Again, just very short. So again, I think the quality is not that bad for them only being $12. They just have to be the kind of shorts that you're looking for in terms of the length and the top length and all of that. So these are definitely not for me, but I don't think they're horrible. And the last pair of jean shorts that I grabbed are the plaid and plain women's high-waisted denim shorts rolled blue jean shorts in a size medium in the color double zero stone wash blue and these were $22.99. These are kind of like that paper bag waist style which I have never owned a pair of those, never tried a pair of those and so I was kind of intrigued by them and this idea of having an elastic waistband. I mean I like elastic anything, it's just comfortable. I mean I don't think you can argue that it's not comfortable. So I'm very intrigued by these. They have a double button on them that just says plaid and plain and I like the wash. They seem pretty good. They seem good quality. They feel really good. So yeah, I'm excited to try these. Let's go try them on. These are a pretty good pair of paper bag waist shorts. I love the elastic waistband. Like they're so comfortable, which is really nice. They're also really high waisted. My belly button is like right here and the waist is just so comfortable. Here they are from the back. I think the sizing is pretty good. I almost wish they were like a little baggier or like a little bit more A-line just to give me more shape because they have the nice waist, but then I feel like this part could just like go out slightly a little bit and then maybe be a tiny bit longer, but that's really just me being picky. I think in general, they look really good. Pockets are nice and deep, which is always great. So yeah, I think these are pretty good. I always have a great time trying on things that are different than what I already have in my wardrobe or things that I wouldn't necessarily pick up. Let me know down in the comments, which of these jean shorts did you like the best? Best. Again, I will link them all down below if you want to check any of them out. But that is all I have for you today. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. I hope that you will subscribe down below if you have not already. Give this video a big thumbs up if you have not already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!